Hi everyone, welcome to the best of CAT series from IMS. As usual, we'll be doing one question on modern maths over here today and there'll be a replica for you to solve. Uh, please do not forget to give the answers in the comment box. Let's have a look at this question, which is a past CAT question. They've told us that A1 plus A2 plus A3 up till AN is 3 into 2 raised to N plus 1 minus 2, where N is greater than or equal to 1. Then A11 equals to what? It was a theta question. Uh, look like a not very easy question, but actually was very straightforward. And I'm going to discuss two approaches maybe for this question so that you understand it well. Let's look at the first approach, like a proper mathematical approach. What's the right way to do it? So if I have to look at the right way to do it, I know what is A1 plus A2 plus A3 up till AN. If I take the next step and I find A1 plus A2 plus A3 up till AN minus 1, what will that become? It will become 3 into 2 raised to n minus 2. So what have I done? I've just replaced n with n minus 1. So on the left hand side also I've replaced n with n minus 1. On the right hand side also I've replaced n with n minus 1. And now if I subtract both these statements, that means the first statement minus the second statement, what will I get? a1 will cut out, a2 will cut out, everything will cut out except a n. So I will be left with a n is equal to 3 into 2 raised to n plus 1 minus 2 minus 3 into 2 raised to n minus 2. Take 3 common, you will be left with 2 raised to n plus 1 minus 2 minus 2 raised to n plus 2. Taking the 3 common, minus 2 plus 2 cuts out. We can take 2 raised to n common, so we will get 3 into 2 raised to n common. I hope you know the basics of indices and you will be left with 2 raised to 1 minus 1. 2 minus 1 over here becomes 1. So I have got therefore a n is 3 into 2 raised to n. Now this is as I said the standard way to do the question. 3 into 2 raised to n. We got a n as we want to find a 11. So what will be a 11? 3 into 2 raised to 11. 3 into 2 raised to 11. 2 raised to 11 should be you should know that value orally 2048. So 3 into 2048 comes to 6144. Very, very proper mathematical way to do the question. Maybe this is not what I would have done on the day of the cat. So this is the method, you know, which a purist of maths would want to do, but maybe not on the day of the cat. So the day of the cat, I will look for one more approach for this question. Let's have a look at that method also. So by the next method, what I would do, I would start plugging in values for n. Let's start putting n as 1. If I put n as 1, what do I get? I get a1 is equal to 3 into 2 raised to 2 minus 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. So a1 is 6. And I try to find a pattern, put n as 2. And I would get a1 plus a2, right? Putting n as 2, I should get a1 plus a2. So I'll get a1 plus a2 is equal to 3 into 2 raised to 2 plus 1, 3. 2, 2 raised to 3 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So I've got a1 plus a2 is 18. And therefore, a2 will be 12. a1 we knew was 6. So a2 becomes 12. We got that much. Let's do one more time and see what we get by putting n as 3. So I'll get a1 plus a2 plus a3 will be 3 into how much? It will be 2 raised to 3 plus 1, 4. 2 raised to 4 is 16. 16 minus 2 is 14. And I get 42 over here. 42 minus 18 will be 24. And I can clearly see that this is doubling. Every time it is doubling out. So from this step, if you want, you can just keep doubling and keep going ahead and get to the answer. Or just realize that this is nothing but 3 into 2 raised to 1. This is 3 into 2 raised to 2. This is 3 into 2 raised to 3 and so on if I go ahead. So a third term is 3 into 3, uh, 2 raised to 3. So the 11th term would be 3 into 2 raised to 11, which we just did behind was 6, 1, double 4. So I thought this was a slightly more me uh, uh, a method which a lot of students would prefer doing on the day of the cat than the earlier method. Whichever ways, the question was not too difficult. I thought it was a doable question. Try the replica and let us know how you found the question. 